What up, guys? This is Chivo Guides, back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Torian Defense. This game is published and developed by Anitis Interactive. This game has a really easy 1000G as long as you know the cheats. Without cheats, this would be a very hard completion and more than likely would take close to about 4 or 5 hours. However, with the cheats, you can get this game done in about an hour and 20 minutes. On top of that, the game is only $4.99. And the developer slash publisher has confirmed with me that this game will be getting achievement updates. A matter of fact, the 2000 gamer score update should be coming out shortly. Once it's updated, I'll make sure to upload a guide for the update. For now, we're going to be covering the base 1000 gamer score. The game is inspired by 1980s top down arcade style shooters. In the game, you must defend your bases from an enemy invasion. There's basically three different modes that you can play, and in each mode, you fly a different aircraft. When you go to the main menu, it's going to look like this. There's six options that you can select. Again, there's three modes, and we also have the three tutorials for each of the modes. So these ones right here are the tutorials, and these three right here are the actual levels. So basically what we need to do is complete training for all three ships. After that, we'll actually need to finish all three modes. You're going to need to survive long enough to be able to complete each mode. That's why I said it takes about an hour and 20 minutes, because you are going to need to finish each of these three modes. The first mode has you flying what they call the Banshee. After you complete the tutorial for the Banshee, what you'll need to do is start up the regular mode and you'll need to survive 7 waves to be able to finish the Banshee mode. The mode related to the Banshee aircraft is called the Taurus Processing Facility. So go ahead and start that up and we'll need to survive 7 waves. Once you complete wave 7, you'll unlock an achievement related to doing so, and you'll also unlock an achievement related to destroying the bomber in the last wave. Now, my biggest tip for making this an easy completion and making it easy to complete all 7 waves is to press start and enter in the cheat code. The cheat code is left, down, right, up, left, left, down, down, right, right, up, up. Again, that's left, down, right, up, left, left, down, down, right, right, up up if you do it correctly it should say cheats now active the cheat will make it so you do not take any damage i believe your base can still take damage however i think the cheat strengthens your base as well so you don't really need to worry too much about your base taking damage the biggest advantage to activating the cheat is the fact that you get unlimited rockets you can press left trigger to shoot your rockets so as long as the enemy is highlighted with the red square you should be able to press LT and it's going to shoot a homing rocket at them. Because we have unlimited homing rockets with the cheat, pretty much all this game is going to involve is continuously mashing the left trigger to be able to continuously shoot rockets. Actually, I think you can just hold it down and it will automatically shoot the rockets for you. You can also shoot your regular bullets by pressing right trigger. So really, I would just be holding down right trigger and left trigger the whole time. Aside from that, if you want to boost forward, I believe the boost button is RB. And that's pretty much the only controls I use. There are some extra things that you can do. For instance, you can distract enemy rockets by pressing LB. Or you can even press in X for a strong EMP blast. But again, really just use your main machine gun and your rockets and you should be able to breeze your way through the game. After you complete wave 7 of the Taurus processing plant with the Banshee, you should have all of your achievements related to this mode. In total, we had 4 achievements related to the Banshee, the one for the tutorial, one for destroying at least one dropship, one for completing wave 7, and finally one for destroying the boss bomber at the end. In terms of that boss bomber, after wave 7, you'll end up facing this boss, and after you defeat the boss, you'll unlock that achievement. After that, we're going to work on the second of three modes, which is for flying the Interceptor. Again, we're going to start off with the tutorial. This aircraft flies pretty similar to the previous one. You still have your gun with right trigger and your rockets with left trigger. You can also still boost with RB. Now the main thing with this one is to reload your weapons, it would require you to stay close to this ship right here. However, we're going to activate the cheats and we'll never need to reload. So just follow the tutorial, it'll teach you how to play, and then we'll go ahead and start up the actual mode and activate the cheat. Again, the tutorials are required for achievements, so just follow along and complete the tutorial. After playing the Interceptor tutorial, you'll unlock an achievement called F1A Pilot for completing that. At this point, we're going to start up the mode related to the Interceptor, which is called Atroll Atoll. 
Same as last time, we're going to need to complete this mode from start to finish. Luckily, we can activate the cheat code. So once you're in the mode, go ahead and press start, and we're going to enter the cheat code once again. The cheat code is left, down, right, up, left, left, down, down, right, right, up, up. Again, that's left, down, right, up, left, left, down, down, right, right, up, up. After you're done, it should say cheats now active. Similar to last time, it's going to give us unlimited ammo, so you'll be able to constantly just hold down L and shoot your homing rockets. Now I want to point out with this mode, you're going to have ground enemies. To switch your targeting between the sky and ground enemies, you need to press Y. Now if you look on your radar on the lower right hand corner of the screen, you're going to see a bunch of green dots. We're going to need to destroy all of these green dots to finish this mission. So in this mode, we're actually attacking the bases rather than defending them. Now, some of these green dots are just ordinary buildings. Some of them are located within these circles that have shields around them. Now, I found these areas with the shield around them are the hardest to destroy. So what I recommend doing is destroying the shield. And then you want to press X to launch an airstrike. You're going to have five seconds to aim the airstrike at the area that you want it to land at. So you need to have good timing and ultimately you just wanna make sure that when the countdown reaches one, that you have that airstrike within that shield area. While you're waiting for your airstrike to come attack, what you wanna do is make sure that the shield is destroyed in the meantime. Because when the airstrike hits that little town, you wanna make sure the shield is gone so you can get the most damage possible. You can press Y to switch back to sky targeting if you wanna take care of some of the enemies but I wouldn't really worry about the sky enemies too much as we pretty much have god mode on and you're not going to be taking too much damage. I would really just spend your time focusing on all of the green dots on the map and making sure that you destroy all of the enemy buildings. After all of the enemies and enemy buildings are destroyed, you will pass this level and move on to the next one. I found that this was the most time consuming part of this completion. Now I believe there are like two more missions in this mode. They are going to introduce some navy battles. You're going to have to take out some battleships. And then I think in the last level of this mode, you're going to have to destroy the enemy buildings as well as the enemy battleships. Again, this mode really just consists of looking at the radar and making sure you clear out all the green or red dots on the radar. Once all the enemies are cleared out, you'll finish the stage. And once you complete all the stages in this mode, you'll get all of the achievements related to this mode. None of them are missable. Just complete the mode and you'll unlock all the achievements related to this aircraft. Now, at this point, we have completed the achievements related to two of the three aircrafts. Our last aircraft is going to be the X-130. We're going to start off with the tutorial. Again, I recommend paying attention to the tutorial. You'll need to press A over this building right here to recharge your ammo. Again, we're going to end up using the cheat, so we won't need to use this feature. But yeah, we won't activate that until we get into the main mode and out of the tutorial. For now, just finish the tutorial for this aircraft. Once you're finished, we're going to start up the mode related to the aircraft. The mode is called Ashcord Rise. We actually have four achievements related to this mode. Most of them will unlock naturally. However, we do have the one missable achievement in this game. That missable achievement is for finding and killing the Yeti. Before we do that, press start and activate the cheat code. Again, the cheat code is left, down, right, up, left, left, down, down, right, right, up, up. After you activate the cheat code, we're going to go find this Yeti. What you want to do is turn completely around from where you start and you want to head southwest. There's going to be a little green dot on your map and that little green dot is our Yeti. Now, while you're flying up to this Yeti cave, I recommend holding down on the left stick to slow down your ship. After you slow down your ship, press Y to switch to ground targeting and start aiming at the cave. Once you can see the Yeti, start shooting your machine gun. I don't believe you could shoot it with your rockets because it doesn't actually target onto the Yeti. So just shoot your machine gun at the cave. Eventually, you will kill the Yeti, unlocking this missable achievement. Now, I went ahead and just restarted the level rather than flying all the way back, but feel free to fly back if you want. Just keep in mind, if you do restart the level, you do need to enter in the cheat code once again. It's left, down, right, up. Left, left, down, down, right, right, up, up. Once it says cheats now active, we can go ahead and try to complete this third mode. Now, at first, it's going to appear like no enemies are coming towards you. Well, in the beginning of the level, it tells you to go north and try to find some enemies. 
So north is straight ahead. So right when you start off the first level, just fly straight ahead until you see these enemies on your radar. They are going to be ground enemies. They look like spider robots. So you have to press Y to switch to ground targeting and you'll have to destroy them. Now in this mode, we are defending our base. You are going to have to fly around the base in effort to find the enemies that are headed towards your base. So if you're not seeing any enemies close to your base, try to fly around it until they appear on your radar. Now at this point guys, all you guys gotta do is complete all seven waves of this mode. Again, for this mode, I recommend just using your homing rockets as you have unlimited and this is your most powerful weapon. So just use your homing rockets on all of the enemies until you complete all seven waves. After you survive wave seven, you'll unlock your final achievement in the base 1000 gamer score. Again, this publisher is going to be updating this game to 2000G, so make sure you guys stay tuned in with the channel for the 2000 Gamer Score update. As always, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 10 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including TimG84, Kegger101, Kana25, and Rockmono44. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, and don't forget to like and subscribe.